that axis is going to its reference position. That's not the maximum linear position, it's just a reference position. And the x-axis is referencing. Again, not the maximum stroke, but just a reference position. Now that the machine is referenced, I can select tool positions manually. It is a uh, Italian built diplomatic turret. It's very robust. We've put very large tool holders on here. I'm going to start the spindle. Sorry, first I'll execute some of these accessories, so that's the tail stack quill. It's set up on a slow speed, uh, low pressure, but it can be adjusted. And now it's retracting. The steady rest. And then retract. And the chuck. I'm standing too far away for you to see it, but the chuck is opening now. You can do it with code, with a foot switch, or with a computer. And I'm going to program a very simple spindle program. So this is 150 RPM, just manually programmed. There's also a coolant pump. I'm not going to turn it on because the doors are open. And the chip conveyor. I'll show you some of the buttons. There is chip conveyor motor. There is chuck and steady rest switches, tail stock. This is for manually moving and reference returning. Here's some auxiliary options as well. And the FANUC control. Um, we program in this mode using G-code. This comes automatically out of our Mastercam software on the computer directly next to the machine. Mastercam is very easy to learn. We just have our manuals here and the machinists learn from the manuals. 
machine has a lot of horsepower, a lot of swing, and a lot of center distance. The tail stock right now is probably uh, at the halfway point. It is drag and drop. The steady rest is also a drag and drop steady rest. So it is programmable, but not on the axis, just on the clamp. Same with the tailstock quill. The turret uses the larger inch and a quarter tool holders for more rigidity. And we also have a custom uh, long boring bar attachment, which I'll show you over here right now. This is the long boring bar you see from the pictures. It has a double uh, face mounting procedure to make it extremely rigid. The tool holder uh, may or may not be included. I know for sure the bar is not, but the tool holder is probably included with the machine. So this is the Shinri Boxway machine, if you have any more